Hello everybody, welcome to Novene C TV and it's your girl Novene C. Um, today I just want to talk to you guys about two of the ladies in my life who are very influential throughout my whole childhood and my adulthood. Uh, one is my grandmother Mary McCall, we call her Granny, and the other is my great aunt Helen Benoit and everybody calls her Auntie. And so these two ladies were influential in my life because growing up and all throughout my adulthood they were homeowners and when they became homeowners they were single women so for me that was very powerful because a lot of people tell you how you have to be married or it takes two incomes to make it but all throughout my life i've seen my grandmother and auntie granny and auntie um having their you know owning their homes as single women and so that was very very powerful to me and that made me believe and that also made me understand that you can make it with one income of course it's always better if you have two but if you have one don't think that you can't um, get the things that you need in life get the things that you want in your life for your families you can still uh, become a homeowner you can still have all the things that you desire because like I said I saw that my whole life with them and um, I was just thinking about that because my cousin Charmaine has been sending me information about um, people that we should celebrate during Black History Month and some of the people that she has been sending is some of our family members so like our elders in our family uh, she sent us pictures send me pictures and also like tell a little bit about what they've done and so this made me think about the two ladies that, that were very special to me and also um, granny she taught all of her grandchildren she taught us all um, how to have manners and to be say thank you and please and also um, when we talked to her of course if if we didn't hear her or didn't understand something that she said we couldn't say what or huh we would have to say pardon me pardon and then she would um, repeat it and uh, when we were talking to her we couldn't say okay she she would not like that so if she said if she told us to do something or something we say okay and she said that's not what you're supposed to say what are you supposed to say and we say yes granny and so she used to call us on the phone we would always say yes granny yes granny because she was very chatty anyway and then um auntie when i had my first son i was 20 years old and so some of my family members uh, you know frowned upon it because I wasn't married or whatever so I was nervous when I had my son to take him to go see her and my other cousin she had a baby uh, what five months before me so we both went to take our sons to go see auntie and I was scared because I thought she was gonna say something negative but when she saw our baby she was super happy and she just said you know that's what makes the world go around so auntie was super duper understanding and she knew that um, you know people have sex people have babies and um, you'll be fine <laughs> and so I was very thankful for her um, to be so understanding and I didn't think uh, she would be like that because she didn't have any kids we called her auntie because she had what 18 I think nieces and nephews and then they all had children and grandchildren and for like the holidays we would all go to her house so everybody would be over at auntie's house celebrating and there were so many of us and I didn't notice until I was older that we used to all be over there. We used to have so much fun, but her house wasn't even that big. It's a three bedroom, and but people, we were all, all of our cousins, we would be outside in the, um, in the front yard or we'll be in the backyard. Some of us would be in the house and it would be like an all day thing. So we would take shifts, you know, going to the house, but we, I never felt crowded. I never felt like there was too many people. It was always just awesome and love and, and fun over at auntie's house. And everybody always knew that whenever they come into town, go to auntie's house because auntie lived there our whole lives like she she had that house from I don't know what year but you know when I was born until she passed away in 2014 same thing with granny granny was at the same house my whole life until she passed they both passed away in 2014 so we lost um, a whole generation their generation um, that year but um, I just like to think of the good things that they taught me and uh, the ways that they have inspired me and how much love that they uh, showed to us, their um, auntie, like all her nieces and nephews and all their kids and grandkids. Uh, everybody just always loved going over to her house, eating her gumbo and uh, <laughs> all her baked goods and she would give you five dollars <laughs> every time you went over there. So that would be nice. And then granny, we would all get together and go to granny's house um i liked when um i think when i was nine years old that was the last time we had like christmas over there all together with 
our cousins and it was it was super duper fun so i was just out, out here taking a walk trying to get some exercise and some fresh air and i started thinking about granny and auntie so i wanted to make a video to share that with you guys to let you guys know that um sometimes just look back in your, your family look at your uh the people who inspired you in your family and pay homage to them okay we don't we could celebrate everybody else but we also have to celebrate the ones close to us okay well i'm gonna make this short because i have to get um back on my walk i just wanted to share that with you guys so um please have a good day and i'm um, thank you for uh, watching noveen c tv i'm noveen c and i'm wishing you peace love and light bye